All right, Bob's on. We're out here at Jenny's. We fed three dozen shrimp and caught not much. Oh, might be a keeper. Two trout, and they've both been 14 inches, which means no keeper. And we fed two dozen, at least two dozen shrimp to nothing. So, you don't get a day where you get, I haven't had a day where I come out here to the jetties and calmly fish with no wind. So, I thought it was a bigger fish. So, maybe we will get some keepers. But so far, ramp, ramp, ramp. Fourteen inches all day long, do da, do da. All right, let's see if we can't catch a keeper out here on a beautiful day. Last days of December. Oh, Bob's got another one on. And, and you know what? Hit, Bob's nickname is Silent Bob. <laughs> Silent Bob, not Travel Bob. Oh, you got to take him over there, Bob? See if you can get him over here. Oh, this is a big fish. This is a big fish. Let's see if we can get him on camera. If you don't really want to, because the sheep said. He's pulling drag, folks. Bob says he's silent. Bob says he's pulling drag. Well, he don't want to go to this side. Does he? Okay, he don't want to come over here, so we got to go over on the other side. Buddy. What is it? We got cam camera shy. They're all camera shy. more often. Well, there's our one over 20 inches for the entire boat because Florida trout limits really, really suck. Last, two years ago, we could have both had fish like this. So look at that one. Leave it to Silent Bob. That's it. Dave likes and Bob likes. I like it. Okay, Bob, hold him up. We're gonna get a picture. Here I am complaining that all we caught was 14 inch trout, and Bob's over here whacking a fatty. Does anybody know what this is? Is this Pringles potato chip or is this a Lay's potato chip? I don't know. Anybody familiar with uh, what kind of potato chip this is? <laughs> All right, Silent Bob's at it again. He needs to say, fish on! None of these fish want to be on camera. Okay, see if you can bring them over here, Bob. Let's get them on the camera side of the boat. Super red. I tell everybody, I just told three people this week, I never hardly catch keepers. They're either too big or too small. And that's called too small. Here's what we have to put up with. Look how the ship is absolutely hauling ass. Throwing a tsunami of water. That's gonna throw us right into the jetty rocks. Oh my God, I gotta start my engine. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at 
forward six foot wakes came or we would have been kissing those rocks I was in gear with the anchor out and Bob's got one on smoking so Bob's using a uh, three-quarter ounce using a three-quarter ounce knocker rig with a one op mustad hook just to see us through this uh, ripping new moon type tide with six foot wakes from giant ships <sighs> Bob says he likes uh, Weight of uh, what? Ruff, ruffles with ridges? Ruffles? Ruffles with ridges. <laughs> Is this that Ray that swam by? <laughs> Magic carpet ride. Oh, yeah. God dang shark. God dang shark. What a shark is Thank you. 
we've caught a couple more uh, throwback trouts, went along the Navy base, got kicked out, caught nothing. So it didn't really matter. You know, this restricted zone. And now we're back over here where we're catching fish. All right, adios amigo. Well, here we are. We're sitting towards the end of the jetty rocks. There's the end. I was out right over here and my anchor wouldn't hold because the current is literally where a six ounce sinker will not touch the bottom hardly. We caught a bunch of, Bob did, not me. Bunch of smaller trout, 14 inches. So we decided to leave and we had a game plan here of float rig fishing in the morning and then bottom fishing for black drum in the afternoon. Well, it's almost afternoon and this tide has not slowed down one bit. Okay, so we got six ounces and we're fishing a half a mile behind the boat. I was telling Bob about all these people who are wanting to come here and they fish the Gulf and they fish other places and they don't get it. You better be prepared for mega current if you come to, want to come to Jacksonville. Because we got six ounces on the bottom and about, I don't know, 38 to 40 foot of water, I guess. And we ain't even hardly touching the bottom, I don't think. Waiting for it to slow down because we're actually trying to target black drum on the last of the falling that I always used to do in December and January. And Bob said we even did it here one time. Together, me and him. So, we'll see what the story is. I know I got pictures galore. I got pictures galore. Oh, Bob's getting a little nibble there. The whiting will probably not leave our baits alone. And the croakers. Because that's what I caught here uh, earlier this week with people from England and their kids. Well, not kids. I mean, teenagers. So, hopefully we'll be able to get on some drum. I'm not really where I want to be because I can't stay anchored. That's the issue. Sitting around the house, got nothing to do. I think I'll go fishing, scare away the blues, I'm going.